everybody Carol here welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to do a swipe uh, but it's not well actually more a string pull swipe uh, I did one the other day I didn't film it and I did it with this color this magenta liquid basics uh, quinacridone liquid text basic quinacridone magenta and I also added to this color, I also added some dioxazine purple to deepen it just a bit. And then here I have similar what I did with the other um, floral string pull I did on the wood pieces in my last video. I have what is Liquitex Basic Gold, my Sax True Flow Heavy Body Acrylic White, and Liquitex Basic Iridescent Medium Acrylic Paint, which is comes out like shampoo, so don't open it this way guys mixed it all up so I would have some more iridescence and it made it a very light gold what I did the other day which is still wet was I did a base of this color a smaller 12 by 12 and I swipe with this I used yarn wasn't insane about the yarn it, it ended up dry and pretty cool but I wasn't nuts about the yarn. So I want to see the string I have that I used the other day, I felt was a little too stiff. So I have this string, but it might end up being too thin. I mean, I have my uh, doubts on this. So I cut myself some string and then I went back to the trusty yarn just in case. I'm going to make sure that these are all I'll liquidify this up more, this gold. It's not bad, leaves a little mound. I'm going to add some water to that, make it a little more fluid. I'm going to make this the base. I'm going to make sure this is more fluid, and I'm going to use this for the string. Hope I have enough, but I can always mix up more if not. But I thought, let me see if I can get a really cool reverse effect. So that's what I'm going to try. So I'm going to cover this with this gold and white. And then we'll get started. I'm not going to make you have to watch me cover and put the base coat down. I'm just going to put it down as thin as I possibly can. You don't want it to be thick when you're doing this kind of a um, technique. And I will turn you off and turn you right back on when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. I did it. Nice and smooth. Thin as can be. I started, I put one of my strings in here, soaking it up. I think you can see what I'm doing here, I hope. Maybe I should do it over here. Okay. And then you kind of put your stick and you hope you don't have any knots. And yeah, try not to hit the overhanging lamp while you Dip this string that's three so lengths longer than your arm. Uh, that's something you should look at too. All right. Total experiment now and nothing that we can't fix and change if it doesn't work out with the string. We shall see what happens.
Okay, here goes. Let it sit for just a second, and then we're going to pull it. And I'm lifting up slightly. Because you'll see the buildup of the gold that happens right in here. It pools because it pulls it regardless. That's why I say thin. You got to do it thin. But that worked pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm not unhappy with that. String works so far. I really like that. I'm looking for something very, oh, kind of exotic yet minimalist and expressionist more than looking exactly like a perfectly formed flower. That string worked. I'm going to put a new string in here and dip it in. Again, I pull it up over the stick. And again, you really should make sure that your arms are long enough for the string that you have just covered. Why do, yeah, why do I think I have paint on the overhanging light now? Because I do. Look at all these drips. I can fix them. I can fix them. It's okay. All right, let's see. Here we go. Hmm. Well, that's weird. That really came out weird, but I'm going to put one right here to grab all of that. And I'm going to have to clean my overhead lamp when I'm done. Yeah, we got some paint up there. <laughs> all right. third string. knotted up in here. That's not good. <sighs> I'm going to have to get my other hand in here. Get all dirty. That's the way it goes. Pull this apart. Or maybe not. Let's see. Oh, here we go. What did I do? Make a knot? All right, let's see what this does. Whoop. 
Oops. Hmm. So, my problem here is this buildup. And I think what I'm going to do is actually come in, pick up some of this. Just some of it and take it out. I'm going to try again in the middle. Strings I already used once, certainly reusable. I just wanted to use fresh string the first time around. Look at all these sides I'm hitting, and I'll fix them. I am a slob, people. I told you that. A major slob. And here we go, hitting the overhead lamp again. Whee! Oof. All right. Okay, that was pretty neat. I'm really liking that. You know, I'm starting to like what I got here already. Minus the fixes I have to do. Um, I think what I might do is not use quite as long the part of the string, but I'm going to just do some small things down here so the bottom makes a little more sense. Right in here. Now, see, that didn't work because of that extra gold. Let me wipe my string off. I'm going to grab some of this extra. Put it on my towel here. Actually... Interesting. It's always possible to fix things with a palette knife, too. Like right here. can't talk when I'm doing stuff like this. You know, this might end up working after all. I'm going to put something right there. Oh boy.
okay? You know what? I'm kind of happy with this. I'm thinking this is pretty cool. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I want to try to, let's see, anything I want to fix? One up top there. See if I can do that without wrecking everything. we can do. We can fix that a little. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm still not in love with the top of this. Now I'm going to be like neurotic and end up wrecking things. I can't help it. stuck on my hands. All right. Palette knife to the rescue. I also don't know if I mentioned this is a uh, 16 by 20 canvas, 5 8 inch deep, and I did spritz it with water on the back to tighten up the canvas. That's always the first thing you got to do. Make sure it's like a drum. Uh, do I want to do something like right here? I feel like I have to do something right here. Let me fix this stuff first.
obsess over this now. I know it's abstract. But still. Yes, I'm neurotic. Okay, maybe one more right here. Let's see what we can do. And then I'm just going to touch up, call it done, I think, unless I screw this up. In which case, then I won't call it done, and I'll just keep on going, and you can watch me make a mess <laughs> of this entire thing. My paints, if I didn't say it, are mixed a lot thinner than normally. Uh, more like one and a half or two times my medium to one part paint. And my medium is two parts glue all, one part water. That's better, much better. Okay, I think, I think we may have it. Let me uh, wipe these gloves off. Yes, I'm going to still mess with that up there for sure because that's making me crazy yeah there you go there we go i just didn't want it to look like it was interfered with here So definitely I added water also to everything because I needed to really thin it out. You want the string bit to not have any resistance. Oh, that's, that worked, let's see. To get most of it off, there you go. Now I'll put some gold down to cover that up. Uh -oh. Don't want to contaminate my here. I'm just letting it kind of pour over the side itself here for these little parts. I will bring you around once I'm completely done to show you it from my perspective. A little bit scraped there to the surface. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna call this done I'm gonna take you down and show you and if I see anything else I need to touch up I'll touch it up off camera so I'll show you this in one second first let me just do a quick torch there's no silicone in these colors either 
but sometimes just the reaction, especially since there's some metallic gold, sometimes that'll bring up little natural cells. But if we don't get any, that's fine too, because that's not what this was about. Just adds to it, if any of them come up. See, there's a few little things breaking through. A few little guys. Just adds a little interest. I have my uh, torch on pretty low. This time I'm going to check my shoes because yesterday I tracked this wine color all through the house and didn't even realize it till after. So I'm not going to do that again. Okay. That's good enough. Right here, I got a fuzzy hair right there. That's a cat hair for sure. Do you have cats? We do. The other day, one of the cats who usually never bothers this stuff, obviously, walked through my orange harvest painting and there were orange spots all over the floor so I had to photograph each of the cat's feet to see who was guilty and then I found the culprit because he was not going to give it up himself so all right let me take you down all right here we go I think this came out pretty cool. It's definitely weird, different. Cool looking. And what's cool is some of this little darkness that's showing, which I guess is a dioxazine purple that's mixed in with the magenta. Love that one. So oh, here it is. I think it came out pretty interesting. You tell me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Please share the video so I can get as many subscribers as I can. And uh, visit my Etsy store and my Facebook page. And everything's in the description below about the uh, intro music that I use and all the paints and medium and, and everything that I've told you. So here it is. I think I got it all in the camera there. And uh, I'll take a picture of it, too, for the end. Thanks, and have a great day.